Yo, what's up dudes? Sorry it's been a, a long while since I've done a video. A lot's been going on. Uh, the homeless have become the homeless. Um, yeah, I was cruising down the road and uh, headed to a gig and I got up to about 25 and then it started knocking like a mofo. I pulled over to the side of the road, check it out, and I was about, well, I wasn't about, I was bone dry on oil, which I check it about, I don't know, every few weeks or so, and it was good last time. It was burning oil quite a bit, but uh, yeah, so I put some oil in it, and I went down the road. It went past 25 again, but it was knocking like a son of a bitch. And uh, thanks to Mike, big shout to Mike, uh, gave me some uh, run through on the engine. I drained some of said oil, the new oil I put in, and there's a little bit of metal shavings in there. So as Mike predicted, it is the bearing. And I had a, an appointment for Monday morning for the RV. Brought the dude in, and uh, they still not looked at it yet. So uh, I told the guys I lived in it, but uh, I think I'm not really sure what that is. Because it was Wednesday when I when I rang them. They're like, yeah, bring it in Monday. We'll take a look at it. And then I called them on Wednesday, and they're like, buddy, I told you I'd look at it when I had a chance to look at it. It's like, oh, sorry, sir. I didn't mean to uh, uphold, hold you up to the own appointment at which you set forward. And then you look outside, and there's Trump stickers all over their trucks. Nothing against it, but uh, talking about making America great. America might be great or not, but I don't think it's because of you there, fat man. Just get out there and check out my goddamn RV. That's all I want. My hope and dream, it keeps changing. First I was like, I hope it's under 1,000. Then the more I looked at it, and I was like, I hope it's under two. Now I'm hoping it's under 3,500, which would be uh, nice. So, yeah. So, like I said, everything's not coming up Millhouse. Um... I got a water pump in the mail. <laughs> I don't have an RV to put it in yet. Um, but yeah, so I'll say we'll get that looked at, hopefully. I mean, I figured the year and the price at which I paid for the RV, I knew something would happen eventually. So it might, this is, this is eventually. We've reached eventually. So yeah, that's part of the reason I've not uh, put out a lot of videos. Um, the other reason is uh, I'm doing a lot of comedy lately, gearing up for the tour business. So let me check it. Let me show you what I got here. I'm living in a car. <laughs> living the dream, buddy. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. We don't have anything. They're in the trunk. Well, I'll show you. We're in the trunk. Whoa, 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 whoa. Here we go. This is actually a box for a gentleman named Willie. Your stuff is coming in the mail. Not exactly what you wanted, but you get what you pay for. Come on, big box. Come on. You get a 3X and a 1X. This is a shirt from the tour. The Roland 78 Comedy Tour. So that's what you're getting. And the artwork that was promised. The promised artwork. Again, all that stuff's in the back. Uh, beautiful, though. Be beautiful stuff. You got a little something extra in there for you, too. So there's that coming to you. Um, yeah, and also, I did want to talk another thing. I got a little, not discouraged, but kind of annoyed by... I did the Nomadic Fanatic podcast. And even ever since I started doing this RV pod, or RV video, whatever the hell this stupid channel is, I get all these private messages from people and comments about you shouldn't talk to this person, don't talk to that person. Um, it's a bit juvenile. One, I'm a, I'm a grown-up. Ziggy, it's not food. Dude, hey! You don't want that. Do you want actual food? Huh? Huh? The old Zigster. We stayed at uh, Grandma's for a little bit and they got a big dog. It's a big woman and he spent a lot of time with her. They like to... They fight, but they cuddle. She's spayed, he's neutered. But I think it's about companionship for the old guy. She's terrified.
You're the toughest, toughest dog in town, buddy. Yeah. Don't back down. Don't back down. Look how Maggie goes back and forth from watching TV to looking at him barking at him. Isn't that right? Isn't that right? You just like having a friend. But before he had his balls off, it was funny trying to watch this little tiny guy hump this little dog. He's a dog after my own heart. Oh, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, okay, these people. One, do you think I cannot recognize a douchebag? I recognize a douchebag. I'm not a child. You know what I mean? I'm, I've seen a couple other RVs. I'm not, I'm a kind of guy that I like to praise publicly and admonish, if that's the word, admonish privately. That's what I do. I can smell a douchebag. I know what a douchebag looks like and smells like. Um... There's one very popular RV channel. You trying to dig a hole through the seat? You think there's buried treasure in there? Because there's not. There's not treasure in there. Uh, there's one RV channel where the guy, he looks like he'd Bill Cosby a girl's drink. But he seems to be very popular with people. There's another RV, big time RVer, who I definitely, if he was on an RV park, I would not let my kids wander alone. Um, you can piece together who you think those people are. That's fine. Also, there's another guy people talk about he e-begs all the time. And whatever. If that I have no I have no hate on that. If people want to send their money into someone just live in an RV, that's their own business. Speaking of which I put a donation bucket or a donation box on there. Uh, but I'll talk about that in a second. Uh, that was just because people suggested it. Um, anyway, but what I'm saying is if you watch like every late night. TV, they got like all these infomercials for the ab zapper. Do you really think you can put electrodes on yourself and not be a fat ass? No, you have to exercise. People, some people just want to give their money away. I don't know what that's about. Even they have these Jesus stations where, hey, if you send me money, I'll pray for your things. Uh, I'm not definitely, I was raised religious. I'm not a real religious person now, but I think my understanding of what Jesus is. I'm pretty sure you could just go ahead and just talk to him. I'm pretty sure you don't have to send some guy in a big purple suit money in the middle of the night for him to listen to your prayers. I'm not really, I don't know where that part of the Bible is. I'm just saying some people want to give their money away to silly stuff. But now that we're on that subject, uh, like I said, I put a donation bucket in there, but I don't uh, really necessarily want donations. What I, if you do want to support my channel, because a lot of people said they would support my channel, uh, Hold on one second. I'm going to be right back. I'm going to get the stuff I'm talking about. Good God, Ziggy. She's not for you. All right. Like I said, I was going to give the stuff I was going to talk about. Uh, yeah, if you do want to support the channel, um, buy something. That's what. That's the best way. I don't necessarily... I don't want donations. I'm not begging from you. I'm a working man. I make things. I make these beautiful pieces of art. This right here is a, a paper cut I made for myself. I'm a big... American history buff, and uh, this is General Sherman that's burnt out, then laying in the background. Elephant representing what the Republicans once were. Uh, yeah, make all kinds of crazy stuff. Yeah, you can order yourself a paper cut. Look, that's mine. That's my. That's my Pam Greer print. I've been making. I've been trying to find a way to make this whole comedy thing game work, and I guess the definite way is. I mean, it's not bullshit, but I'm selling stuff after the show, selling t-shirts, selling art, and yeah, that's a big difference between the UK and the US comedy-wise. In the UK, if you were selling stuff after a show, you'd look like a raging dickhead, but in the US, we're a capitalist nation, and we're all about that. Even I see dudes off the TV, uh, guy, or dudes and chicks, comedians off the TV, and they're slanging crap afterwards. And I just thought, like, do you need to be doing that? Like, you think the kind of money you're making, you actually have to... But, even if you're a rich person, it's nice to have free lunch. And it's also, if someone buys a shirt from your thing, or a little knick-knack, they're more than likely to follow your career, comedy-wise. But anyway, yeah, so if you do, like I said, a lot of people say they want to support the channel. If you want to just donate, more power to you, but I'm not asking for any of that stuff. But if you do want some bullshit and support it that way, we'll take that. That's the kind of money. That's good money. That's good, clean money, and I like that. Uh, but, yeah, again, I'm sorry. I've been a little down in the dumps. Uh, I let it get to me, and it's dumb, and you can't do that. Because uh, 
Every breakthrough, uh, the good breakthroughs come from a breakdown. And it's right, so what I've noticed, I've been getting a little sloppy, getting a little lazy on my business. And now that I've had this uh, potential collapse around me, the loss of the RV, big chunk, and it's going to really uh, hurt the old money situation. It's because uh, I've gotten, I haven't been pushing as hard as I ha could have been on the comedy thing to make it uh, a business and make it a living and as well as the RV thing. And that's not good. Uh, yeah, so I, I've had some setbacks with the RV. Had a lot of weird things go on with crazy women and some nice women too. Some of them exist in the same woman. <laughs> it is uh, the duality of man, we will say. Also, huge shout to Brandy on the computer. Thank you very much. That has been uh, uh, very helpful in getting me back on track. Um, it, was a, it was a donation from the uh, Brandy Foundation to lovely Dell. Um, it is not... I tried it on some editing programs. It's not really great for the editing. However, um, Word runs really slow on a Mac. And I've been writing a book for some time. Uh, this novel that shall never ever be finished. Um, but yeah, it's been really great for that. It's nice to have something that just dedicated to that. And I can crack it open where I go and do my stuff. And uh, thank you very much. That was very generous of you. And I really appreciate that. Um, but yeah, we've been doing alright. Ziggy's been wrestling big women. You love it, don't you, buddy? You little crazy bugger. Uh, yeah, I've been getting the yeah, again. It's been uh, the tour starts at the beginning of March. Um, as they have not even looked at the RV yet, I'm sure they probably looked at me and they figured out from my description what's wrong with the engine. They're like, "This fool, this guy ain't got a damn nickel in his pocket. I ain't wasting my time on this guy." Uh, so maybe that might also be the case on why they have not checked it out yet. But my hope was to get that back in time for the tour. Because I don't want to sleep in a car with uh, Salim. He's a big man. He's a big man. Ziggy's a little man, but he needs a space. He's got to run up and down the aisle, or run up and down the corridor of the RV nonstop. That's what he does. He runs wind sprints in the morning. It's an important part of his daily regimen that he's not had. Although we were at Grandma's house, and her house goes in, it's like an old farmhouse where it kind of go in a circle, and he just runs circular laps, going crazy till he knocks lamps over and all this kind of stuff. Just having a little play. <whistles> it's going to get you. <laughs> hey! Look at that speed! Look at that speed! He already like runs up. He was also in the bathroom while I left and he scratched the holy hell out of the door. And I went and got some spackle, repainted the entire door. Then I had to put him in there last night for a little bit and he scratched even deeper on the door. Just to teach me a lesson, huh? Huh? Because you miss me and you're a jerk. Anyway, like I said, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's not going to be as RV centric videos for a little bit. Uh, I wish it was, but it's not. But anyway, I will try to stay better on top of these, and because you guys have been supportive and whatever, I need to carry up my end. So for that, I do apologize. But anyway, uh, my baby girl's in swimming lessons, and she's about done. So I'm going to need to go uh, put a towel on her and uh, tell her she did great, and she doesn't look ridiculous with her goggles on. Anyway, so y'all have a have a good one, and I will be back at you shortly. I'm going to stop sniffing my hand.